Pisces, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Pisces. It's not going to resonate with all of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or a Venus sign specific. Any Pisces placement that resonates with you. Some of the messages may also resonate. Oops, there you are. At the end, we'll pull some oracles, give you a little bit more guidance for the week. Personal reading information, any jewelry seen will all be linked and listed. Otherwise, Pisces, here we go, jumping right in. I do only take jumpers, so I appreciate your patience in advance. Your first card out is your energy, Page of Cups. That is Pisces energy. Could be dealing with another Pisces. Followed by the Ten of Swords. So we're going to get more cards out to see what the story is about. But it's like very night and day energy. Very night and day energy. I do see there is a possibility that something has come to an end though. Something that had a lot of uh, promise to it. Something that had a lot of potential to, to be fulfilling. What else do we have for Pisces, please? Show them the cards they need to see. Most important messages for Pisces. Okay, this one flipped out. Judgment, Major Arcana. Yeah, it looks like someone made a decision to end something. Or if something has recently ended, there may be a resurgence of it. There may be a resurgence of it. The Ten of Swords could also be a sense of betrayal, feeling betrayed. Whether you were betrayed or not, feeling betrayed. The Ten of Swords is also an energy of um, the end to reality as you know it. So whatever you've been experiencing, Excuse me, whatever you've been experiencing up until now, some sort of repetitive cycle, looks like that could be finally ending. That reality, that paradigm is finally closing out. Um, could definitely be because of some decision that you're deciding that you're finally making. And if there's a situation between you and someone else that came to an end, it looks like there could be an encore. What's the word? Not encore. Sequel? Not sequel. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We have the Knight of Wands here, Sagittarius energy. Sagittarius season could be important. It's almost like as soon as some as quick as something started, something ended. Five of Pentacles, yeah. As soon as quickly as something started, it also ended as quickly. You could you could be dealing with someone that is just not not uh, dependable. Whoever it is that you're dealing with here. Some some sort of new situation I'm getting with that page of energy page of energy. Page of cups. For some of you met someone new um out of the blue you know unexpectedly had a lot of potential felt great and it's like that you're realizing this person and you cannot depend on this person this person is not dependable at least they were undependable knight of wands is very much energy that you cannot depend on here today gone tomorrow here for a good time not a long time bottom of the deck is the five of cups yeah looks like whoever it is though you do have two fives here already Whoever this is that you met recently, that it felt really good and pure and, 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 you know, felt like you had a lot of potential with. It does look like they regret being um, non-dependable. They do regret it. The Five of Cups is my shoulda, woulda, coulda card. You know, if I could go back and change it, I'd do this, I'd do that. But whoever this is, they're still very much in the energy that you left them in. Still very much not over the situation. Okay, so Sag energy, Pisces energy. Taurus energy could be important too. You also have two fives here. You have three fives actually. Five, five, five. Huge changes coming. Or whatever the situation is, has created huge changes. Isn't either within someone or within. Yeah, I do believe it's it's within somebody. Masculine energy here. Lots of masculine energy. Hey, if this is a relationship, you definitely could have been dealing with someone that was non-committal. Mm -hmm. I do get this as you, Pisces. High Priestess Energy, Major Arcana, the letter B and J could be important to you, but your intuition has was is kicking. You're right. Whatever it is, you're right. But there's definitely someone that you're not talking to as well. High Priestess is very silent energy. Kill him with the silence. That's a cold war of silence with, with, with the High Priestess. Very good secret keeper. Yeah, I do get this is a new situation. You've recently met someone or someone has, you know, some sort of new situation here with the Page of Cups. Very fresh energy, very exciting energy. You had a lot of hope for this, whoever this is. It kind of caught you by surprise, this connection or this person. But I think you quickly came to realize that this person was not someone you could depend on. Not someone that would be there or you, you know, not not meant, not wanting to be something long term. 
and it ended. This person could have, you know, stepped out with the Ten of Swords or did something that you felt as though was a betrayal to you, but I do see that it has ended. I do see that uh, it has ended. And I think maybe this is a pattern that you've been experiencing for a while, meeting people and it starts off great, it feels great, and then boom, they're gone. But this is telling me that that's the end to that. You're no longer going to be experiencing this type of thing. You know? The Five of Pentacles tells me that whoever this is, because I'm not seeing any suits except for the Page of Cups and the Page of the Knight of Watch, which is very immature energy. Not, not No mature energy here other than the High Priestess. Yeah. This person's fucked up. You got this person messed up. They're very much stuck on this, very much, um, you know, worried, overthinking. But this person definitely wasn't dependable and you left them right where you found them is the vibe that I'm getting. You left them right where you found them. And they're feeling your absence for sure. The Five of Pentacles tells me that they definitely, they, they are very aware that you are done with them. They are very aware that you're done with them. But they're not done with you though. They're not done with you. The um, judgment cards tells me they're not done with you. They might be a bit silent and quiet now. They're kind of regrouping, but they're not done. They will be back. The Three of Pentacles tells me that they want to work on things. They want to cooperate now. If they weren't willing to cooperate before, they definitely are now. And with the Five and the Three, that definitely tells me that somebody wants to put in the work. If they weren't putting in the work before, they're willing to put in the work now. Whatever they need to do, they're, they, they finna do. Because your absence is killing them. You're, the silence is deafening. Could be some sort of work thing, some sort of friend circle too. For some of you, this is obviously romantic. But I do get someone was uh, very non-committal. Either non-committal or undependable. Not necessarily non-committal, but I do get you were unreliable. You couldn't rely on this person. Very flighty. So, you know, you don't want anybody in your life you can't depend on. You want solid shit. With the Ten of Cups I'm seeing here, you want solid shit. You want someone to commit to. You want someone you can, you can, you know, if you need something, you'll be there because you're that type of person. That's how you show up. Right? And I do think this person does regret the way they went about things. They they, they, they regret uh, the way they showed up in the connection. And I do think they will be back. And I think this time they are definitely willing to commit. If commitment was an issue before, it's not going to be now. This person absolutely is willing to jump. If you say jump, they finna be how high? Quite literally with the fool card there. They want a new friend. They want a new beginning. They want to start over. And what do they, 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 they want forever. With the, with the Hierophant here and the Ten of Cups, you make this person extremely happy. And maybe it took your absence to sort of realize that. But I do think there, the realization is there. That this is absolutely some, something or a situation that they want for, for a very long time. They want in their life. They want to commit. They want to put in the work in order for it to get to the Ten of Cups. Because they do see that potential. It went from the page all the way to the Ten. They really, really, they, they're missing you. They're very much missing you. And I do see that there is a conversation that wants to happen here. The Page of Cups can also be an I'm sorry. You know, I do feel like you feel betrayed by this person. And not so much that they did something to betray you, but the fact that you could not depend on them felt like a betrayal, you know, because I'm sure you were showing up as a solid figure for this person. You have three fives here. Five, five, five. Could be seeing that a lot as a synchronicity. Could be also be dealing with Taurus. As I said, Taurus, Sag, and maybe another Pisces. Okay. This is love. What is the guidance for Pisces? But they are willing to do what it takes. You also have two tens here. They are willing to do what it takes if you do wish to take this person back. And this is not some person you've been dealing with for years. I'll say that from now. This could be a pattern that you've been dealing with for years. Like you've had the same thing happen over and over with multiple different people. But this is a new person that you have recently met. Deception. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. I am getting that the deception could have also been... Someone could have acted like they didn't want a commitment. When they really did. When they really did. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. 
that could also be why you feel betrayed you know you could also not the, the betrayal could also be not even from this person you just feel you could also feel like you betray yourself because if this is someone different than you usually if this is love for example and this is someone different than you usually go for you're like okay well i'm not going for the same usual type of person so this might be different and it kind of still ended up the same you might feel you know whether this person did anything to you directly you might feel like damn like can i catch a break no matter what i do it always ends the same but this is telling me this is this is the last of it there is this person does want to commit this could definitely be someone that wants marriage definitely be someone that wants marriage but i do see you as the high as the uh high priestess and i do see that this person is very much distraught they can't you know nothing compares look yeah this person wants long term they're willing to do here's the eight of pentacles again and the ten of pentacles definitely someone that wants long term and they're very clear about that now if they weren't clear before if they weren't sure before they're sure now and here comes the communication yeah so I'm of you, this is someone you absolutely have the opportunity or the possibility to settle down with, move in with, get married to, if you want to, obviously. Guidance for Pisces, please. Thank you. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Yeah, your energy. Didn't we just have a new moon in Pisces? I think we did. Mm -hmm. So that could have been an important time frame. This could have been when all of this went down. We just had a new moon in Pisces, I believe. Okay, let's get an animal oracle. So this could have happened around that time. The breakup, the split. And this is created this is this has made it very clear to this person what, what their priorities are, where they want, what they want to prioritize. So if you have recently ended with something with someone that you have recently met, it's not quite over. And there's at least, at the very least, a conversation one more conversation that is going to happen what you choose to do with the information you receive that's completely up to you but that potential you were feeling is there i think someone just wasn't aware that they were ready for more than you know what they see time to collaborate partnership energy working together someone realizes they didn't do what needed to be done if this is something they want they need to prioritize it they need to act like this is something they want and they didn't act like that before and, you know, you being the professional that you are, you've clearly gone through this a million times. You probably uh, cut them off at the first sight of trouble. You're like, nope, I'm not doing this. Nope, I'm done. I'm not doing this. This person could also have Pisces heavy in their chart. Lots of Pisces energy here. We have the Great Gathering. It's all coming together. Intuitive hits soul tribe. So this person is part of your soul tribe. This could also be you helping them initiate their... their um psychic and intuitive ability because there's there's a lot of pisces uh psychic energy here so this person is part of your soul tribe part of your soul family but they were maybe scared too you know scared to get serious but it's like is this is the fear of being serious worth losing this connection i don't think so i think that's the realization like what did i do what did i do do yourself a favor and just enjoy today. So this is very much being in the moment, snake energy. I've been seeing that snake energy a lot. Saying, just enjoy the moment. Mm -hmm. I think that's it. Pisces, that's your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.